So you guys told me that Solar Smash has a brand new secret planet that I had no idea it existed. Today, we're gonna find it and unlock it. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Solar Smash. So like I said, you guys keep telling me in the comments that there is a brand new Earth. It's like a secret planet that I didn't unlock. I don't really know exactly how to unlock it, but today we're going to try our best to get it. So anyway, before we jump into that, this is the brand new Solar Smash update, by the way. Came out a couple weeks ago. We've explored a lot of the new weapons, but today we're going to check out everything that I've missed. So the first thing I want to do, I want to go over to the planets. Now, you guys were telling me that I missed some of the new planets from the update. So if I go down, is there a new Earth? Cube, Donut, Flat Earth, Earth 2010. You know what? The moon was there. Have I ever... Oh, wow! Wow, I don't think I ever used the moon in Solar Smash before. Like, we've seen the moon orbiting planet Earth, but we've never actually just blown up the moon, which is kind of cool. Why not? Let's do it. The first thing we're going to do is slice it in half right here. We're gonna make it, uh, yeah, three out of ten is pretty good, and you know what? We're gonna make it fiery red this time, and we're just gonna slice this bad boy in half. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure the moon does not have a molten lava core. Oh, it's cooling. Oh, I think that was just because of the laser. Yeah, that was definitely just because the laser. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. Wait, what happens if I throw the moon at the moon? Wait, let's let's reset the simulation. We got the moon back. What happens if I throw the moon at the moon? Is it is it going to be the moon? I don't know what's going to happen. What? Wait, what is that? That is not the moon that orbits planet Earth. That was different. Wait, I want to pause that really quickly. Let's fire it and then pause. There's like little hints of like blue. I think that's just like some sort of an asteroid of some sort. Wow! Okay, we already unlocked something new. I did not know what would happen if you threw the moon at the moon, but apparently it's just like another moon. All right, let's take out the planetary destroying laser man. Let's fire it at the moon. Three, two, one, and... Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. It's turning red and... Wait, what? Okay, don't tell me the moon is unexplodable. Okay, the planetary destroying laser man can blow up basically anything. You're telling me it's not strong enough to blow up our weak little moon? Okay, moving on to another new planet. By the way, if you guys want to see more Solar Smash on the channel, hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel right now. Now, all right, so before we get to, like, the brand new secret world, I just want to see, I think we've already done that. Have we done Jupiter's moons? I think we have Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Have we done Neptune? I actually don't remember. Whoa. Wait a second. Is Neptune new to Solar Smash? Probably not. Probably not, but I don't remember seeing the rings of Neptune. Wait a second, let's hit it with the, the Planetary Destroying Laser Man, because why not? Let's go, let's go with the new Planetary Destroying Laser Man. We're gonna turn him, uh, the Frustrated Gamer Purple. And three, two, one, fire! Wait, what happens if I hit the rings? Will it go through the rings? Now I'm just fine. Oh, it kinda went through the rings there for a second. Wait, let me aim a little bit better. Let's aim a little bit better. Oh, it like bent the rings! Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Also, now I just fired three planetary destroying laser mans at Neptune, which um kind of feel bad about. Oh, no. Neptune is turning red. Planetary destroying laser man is, uh, is just yeeting himself out of the solar system. Oh, no. We've got a small explosion. And by small explosion, I mean a really, really big explosion. Wait, is it is it not going away? Wait a second. Was the planetary destroying laser man like nerfed? Why why is the planetary destroying laser man not blowing up these planets? I'm getting real mad now, okay? 
Okay, I grew up in a syllab- uh, a syllabization. I think it's civilization is the word I was going for. In a civilization where you fire the planetary destroying laser man at a planet and it explodes no matter what. What is going on here? Now it can't blow up Neptune. Can't even blow up the moon. That's embarrassing. I, I would be embarrassed to call myself the planetary destroying laser man. Let's move on to the next planet. So actually, wait, let me go back really quickly. If you look at the little planet button, it's glowing gold, which means I still haven't explored all of the new planets. So let's go back to looking at the new planets. So if I look here, it looks like Alpha Centauri is glowing gold, which means that's where the new planets I haven't explored yet are. Oh, we've got Perchta and we've got Star World. Wait a second, I feel like I remember those. I feel like I remember Perchta and Star World. Now, if I look at Machine World, that is like the new planet. Not the new one we're going to unlock later in this video. But that's the new planet that we looked at uh, last video. I feel like I remember hearing Perchta before. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. Oh, that actually looks really cool. Wait, let's fire the moon. Oh, now it's the Earth. Oh, so Perchta's really big. Perchta is really big. Oh my gosh, it's also a gas giant. It's also a gas giant because you can see the gas, like, um, uh, unmelting? What's the opposite of melting? Hardening? I don't know, but the gas was kind of like filling in the hole from the explosion. What about a nice big, uh, a, a black hole? Right there on the side of Perchta. We're gonna go two. It's two eyeballs of black holes. Is Perch to be able, gonna be able to recover from that? Oh, that is large. That is large. I don't think Perch... Oh, it is. Whoa. All right, Perch does a lot smaller now. But actually, that's pretty good. What if I hit it with the healing uh, black hole now? Will it come back to its original size? Looks like it does. Looks like it does. Wait, let me hit it with a couple more. 92, 99, 100. Wow! I hit it with a couple of uh, healing black holes, which again, I don't think a healing black hole is a thing in real life. But in this game, healing black holes bring things back to life. So that was actually kind of cool. Actually, another thing you guys told me to do. You guys told me to go black hole and healing black hole on top of each other. Who wins? Wow, looks like the healing black hole wins. Pretty cool. Okay, let's unlock this brand new planet that you guys were telling me exists and I had no idea it existed. So the first thing I need to do is pause the simulation. I can't have things moving. The next thing I need to do is go down to this defender uh, item. I don't know what you want to call it. It's a defender shield, I guess we'll call it. And I just need to start. Oh wait, maybe I don't. No, maybe I don't want it paused. Yeah, I don't think I want it paused. Now I need to start creating, like, a ring around the equator of the Earth. I need to do a lot of these, so I think this is going to take a long time. So you know what? I might speed up the simulation here, um, but uh, I'll catch back up to you guys when I make a ring around uh, planet Earth. Okay, we're almost done. We are almost done. Wait for it. Bam! That's actually, hey, that, you know what? That's actually not that bad. I did a pretty good job. Okay, this is like the world's strongest planet Earth, by the way, because we've got like hundreds of these defender planet shield things. I need to reset the planet and hopefully this works. It did not. Okay, I need to try that again and see if I can get it to work this time. A few moments later. Okay, I spawned in about 10 times more of these defender ships than I did last time. And I, I aimed as close to the equator as I possibly could. I don't know if I got it exactly, but I, I feel like I'm pretty close. Okay, let's try this again. Let's reset the simulation. Let's reset the planet. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, so this is like a combination of planet Earth and that new, like, Defender machine world. So look at that. Planet Earth now has a Defender disc around it. I don't even know what to call it, but this is the brand new secret planet that I didn't even know existed. So if I zoom in really quickly, is this actually like a... That's actually like a spaceship. 
Like, I think there's actually people living in here. And watch this. If I try to, like, shoot something small at planet Earth, like, let's go with a, uh, a single asteroid here. No, you know what? We're gonna go even smaller. We're gonna go with one snowball. You ready? Here we go. Watch what happens if I try to fire a snowball at planet Earth. It's... Okay, apparently, maybe the Defender Shield doesn't care about snowballs, okay? That makes sense, because snowballs wouldn't really be much of a threat. But what if I fire an asteroid? There we go! There we go! Oh, it kind of... Okay, the, the Defender Ship isn't... Or, or the Defender uh, the, the beams aren't exactly the best, because sometimes they accidentally blow up planet Earth. Like, look at that. Right now, all of this damage is from the Defender Beams. So you know what? Let's try to do something a little bit bigger. Let's go with the moon. I don't know if it's going to be able to stop the moon. And you know what? I'm going to fire it right at the ring to see what happens. Here we go. Here it comes. Oh, they're trying. Hey, they actually blew up the moon. They actually blew up the moon. And like, yeah, it did a little bit of damage to the rings, but that's actually not that bad. What if I try... What if I try like one of the aliens? Like, I go with the, uh, the, 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 the YouTube, uh, uh, Solar Smash boxer named Tyke Mycin, and we fire him. Oh, we've got action. We've got action. They're trying to blow him up. Hey, they actually did it. They actually did it. I mean, there's a little bit of damage, but nowhere near the amount of damage that there normally would be. All right, you know what that means. You know what that means. Planetary destroying laser man time. Fire! Is it going to blow up the planetary destroying laser man? Or is the planetary destroying laser man going to blow up the planet? They did it. They actually defeated the planetary destroying laser man. Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. And I will see all of you in the next video.